Hey everybody, how you doing? Today we have a new profile. I actually worked with this. This is possibly the best way to play with Zephyrus G14 in under 65 degrees temperature, maximum temperature of both CPU and GPU if you play like AAA games and stuff like that. So this profile, as you can see with the fan, I have it set up for the CPU fan and also have it set up for the uh, GPU fan as well. Um, now let's take a look at what I have here. You also can uh, clock your GPU, but I wouldn't advise for this because you already have a great uh, GPU already. So let's take a look here. So I have it at 0%, that means it's idle. And as you can see, the fans at zero is not running at all. Like nothing is running right now. Zero fan uh, for the CPU and the GPU. And the degree is 33, uh, you know, a degree. So that fan is off. You probably, possibly, this is the best way to save your battery uh, in, in the best possible way. Um, you know, the thing is, uh, now we did already, let me just show you something. Because it's plugged right now. So it's plugged. This is the way to do it in plugged. If you want to play that highest, the best, poss best possible way. When it comes to the graphics so as you can see 0% 30, 30 degrees 6% 40 degrees 17% at 50 and then from 50 to 60 it goes up to 60 above 60 it goes crazy now what I do here yeah I know why people say you're gonna hit 70 between 60 and 17 the fans are gonna kick in real hard well, it's not going to kick out uh, real hard unless it hits 70, uh, it, then where the fan is going to hit 66% to cool off this heat, and then it's going to go back to the uh, um, uh, 34, which is kind of, you know, kind of manageable when it comes to the fan noise and stuff like that. So, also on the GPU, I actually did uh, this as a curve. So I did 0 at 30 degrees. And then uh, when it hits 41 degrees, it's going to kick in for 9%. When it hits to 30, uh, 53 degrees, it's 16, and then 21%. And you know, the GPU usually is way cooler than the CPU. CPU is more stressed in this uh, environment. So, uh, as you can see here, the uh, percentage. And this is actually the best possible way. So what I can do now with this, uh, you know, method, I can... Imagine this, I can play the auto, the auto world, which is graphic heavy, if you just maximize everything, like really heavy. Now I can play this game at uh, ultra setting, like ultra the maximum, okay, imagine this, maximum. Uh, 2560, 1440p, and I can play above 60, like 60, per, 60 FPS, is, it does hit 60 FPS, no problems. This is really unheard of, of this kind of form factor when it comes to the laptops. Uh, let me just show you what I mean. Uh, now you can hear the fans just started to kick in a little bit because of the... Uh, let me just go here. Let me show you the setting before I go any further. It's 25, 60, 40, and 40, V-Sync on, 100% through the resolution. So 100% uh, 3D resolution, motion blur, uh, blur uh, to zero, uh, field view 95, and then everything is on high and I put uh, texture on ultra. So textures is what really matter in that department here. So everything in high and then uh, uh, texture is on ultra. Uh, so this is the uh, setting, as you can see, we keep this. Go back, hit continue, and we'll try to go back and forth between what we have here and the setting. Oops, it doesn't show up. Okay, so check this out. Smooth 60 FPS, best graphics, man. Look at this. You get ray tracing, you get everything. Let me just increase the... Uh, okay. You get everything, guys. This is really, really cool. Let me just tap you on the screen to uh, get you better. All right. 
possibly spitting on. And you can even see the ray tracing because the ray tracing is one of the things that this uh, you see that you see the reflection of the light it's really nice man and also you can see it on the floor so you can play this game fully with this setting and you can enjoy the game really nice but also I want to I also add in that see you can hear the fans start to kick in and slow things down and then I want to add in also that I actually use a, uh, a cooling pad and the cooling pad is going to help with the uh, supply of cold air uh, into the laptop which is very very important uh, in a laptop of this size let me just go back quit Except I'm gonna check out the uh, what happened here so as you can see 65 62 degrees so that is actually what you can get here and this is really good actually at this uh, form factor man and it's gonna stay there it's not gonna go crazy unless you hear the fans go crazy so you're gonna hit on that benchmark uh, now what else we have yeah let's see, check out the GPU if we go to the GPU same thing now let's hit alt control delete and see where is the performance here no I think it's my top okay but it, with this with this specification, the GPU is gonna hit 95, 95, 90 percent. It's not gonna kill the GPU in 100 percent all the time. It's gonna hit Nvidia RTX 2060. It's gonna hit 90 to 95, almost, almost there, almost at the tip of the iceberg, as you can see. But you know, but it's not gonna hit 100 percent. This is where you don't want to stress your uh, graphic cards at 100 percent all the time and all the heat. I know it's nice. But I prefer not to get 100% because the longevity, uh, I believe that anything uh, hitting 100% all the time is going to have a drawback. So I just hit it at 90 and uh, 95. And how do I do that? I just go to play the game, adjust the setting, I keep these windows open and check. I see what stress is, is there. Does it hit 90? Does it hit 95? Does it hit 40? So, for example, the reduce the resolution if I play at 1080p maximum setting. 1080p is going to hit around 80, 85, around that. And 2560 is going to hit both of the 90s and high 90s. Uh, so yeah, that's just a small advice for you if you want to go check it out. Uh, yeah, that's the, uh, the thing I'm using here. This is the fan. Basically, this video is about the fan uh, profile, as you can see the way I did it. Uh, it's very simple. 70, 100%, 100%. And that's it. Uh, if you want to Unplug. I just removed uh, the unplug, and now it's back to performance. And uh, you just put it put it in silence, so you're not gonna get the graphical power of uh, when it's plugged, of course. You know what I mean. So this is what you get for the uh, gaming. If you have any questions, let me know in the comment section. Uh, by the way, I use this cooling pad because it's very important to have a cooling pad in addition to your. Uh, you know the laptop so I use this just turn it off this cooling pad over here is very very uh, nice it's, uh, you know it's made of uh, aluminium and it has a single big fan as you can see here pulling the air out and it's very cold air actually so it's very nice it has a dual USB type C uh, type C type A and uh, you can move the cables underneath this you can check there is a video for it it calls Pro Mates, so check it out on my channel, guys. I have this video of this cooling pad. It's very nice, actually, useful in many many scenarios. And uh, yeah, that's it, guys. And uh, see you in another video.